Welcome to the Coder Interface What's New video for Build 7400. I'm going to go over everything in Autodesk Inventor. So what we've done before is we've always come up to our Code Word menu right here. We've clicked on Import Model and we've located our XML 3D file that we've exported from Compress. So I'm going to go ahead and import this model. So I'll click Import here and like always you'll see the model being generated in the background. So depending on the complexity of your vessel, this might take anywhere from 30 seconds, it could take up to two minutes. Best thing to do is just let the interface uh, finish the modeling, then we can take a look at the new things that we have available for you and build 7400. Okay, so here's our model import into Inventor. So let's click the home button here to bring it down a little bit. Okay, so what's new in our 7400 build? So as before, we've renamed all our components from Compress as well. If we right-click in any of these, we can look up the I properties, and you can see all the ASME information that we brought over from Compress. But often, a lot of the questions that we got uh, were, can I edit this model? Can we change things? What if I need to move a hole, make a hole uh, bigger? Well, how we do that in these solid modeling programs is we edit the sketches. One thing we've done in Build 7400 is we've applied the sketches to all the components. So for example, let's take this top cover right here. Let's say we need to increase the hole opening here for welding clearances, weld preparation, things like that. So since this is an assembly, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the top cover, we're going to right click on it, and we're going to open it. So this will open up the individual part in our assembly, like so. So from here, what we can do is we can take a look at our tree view over here, and you can see the two extrusions that we made for the holes. What we're going to want to do is expand this extrusion to, and you'll see the sketch. So if you double click on it, we can now make edits to the sketch. So Inventor switched over to its sketch mode. What I'm going to do is click on a dimension right here. We'll dimension this. And then what I'll do is I'll double click on it like so, and this is the dimension that brought, was brought over from Compress. So depending on your company standards, we may want to increase it by an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, things like that. For a demonstration though, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to increase this by a bit. I'm going to actually go 13 and a half, just so you can see what it looks like when you uh, change the whole dimension. So I'll type in 13 and a half, I'll click on the green check mark, and as you can see the hole's been expanded. Now what this will do, this is parametric modeling, so if I make a change on this part, this will actually automatically get updated on the model. So I'm done here, so what I'm going to do is click Finish Sketch right here in the top right hand corner, and the hole has been increased. So what we can do is I can now switch back to the assembly view right here, and we can take a look at this top head. So let me just move this down, I'm going to zoom in, and you should be able to see there's a clearance now around this hole. So if you want to add any of your welds in here for further analysis, for drawing purposes, we can now do that as well. So the sketches have been applied for you guys in 7400, so if you need to make any changes or your draftsmen need to make any changes, they can go ahead and do that. I'd like to thank you for watching this quick video on the Codeware interface. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a further demonstration, please email sales at codeware.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.